Hey guys, Dave from Dave Builds It. I've been wanting to build a uh, picture frame for a long time and um, just haven't had the time to get around to it. Um, a few months ago, uh, we lost Shinx, our, our cat. We've, we've had him for 14 years. He was my daughter's cat. Um, and when I received the remains back, um, it just kind of spurred me to create a tribute, uh, you know, for him, you know. Anyway, that, that tribute's posted, you know, uh, somewhere in one of these quarters if you want to take a look at it. Um, but in order to build the picture frame, um, I needed, uh, didn't, didn't need it, but I wanted to build a spine jig and a, uh, um, a way to cut the miters precisely it, to the right length, considering you're going to have a um, quarter inch rabbit hole on the inside to hold the frame itself, to hold the picture itself and the glass and, that, and whatnot. Um, so getting those remains back motivated me to get started on it. And so what I'm going to show you in this video is <laughs> first me doing it the wrong way and then going back and doing it the right way. Um, and actually it ended up being a really good build. So uh, again, enjoy the video and I'll, I'll talk you through the process along the way. My first mistake was using scrap plywood. Uh, spawn jigs need to be uh, precise and square and using scrap plywood just doesn't cut it. You see here that it's not square um, and if you're going to build a spawn jig it has to be square, there's, there's not a lot of room for tolerance there. So this piece gets chunked in the trash. So now I do what I should have done in the first place. I went to the, went to the big box store and picked up a piece of MDF. MDF is square, it's flat, it's level. It's, it's, um, you don't have to worry about it warping too much unless it gets wet or unless there's extreme conditions, um, which the spine jig is not gonna be subject to those. Yeah, and you'll notice I keep checking for square in this whole build. It's, it's really important. I can't stress enough how square this piece has to be to get a nice spline. And I also want to mention that um, there's no right or wrong measurement for this, right? Um, your fence is not going to be the same size as mine. You might have a, a, a in-feed and out-feed table, uh, which might allow you to use a smaller uh, smaller slide. Um, obviously I don't have that right now. I will have it soon, watch and see. But right now I'm, I'm building to my needs at the moment. Aside from making everything square, this is the most critical piece of this, this build, and that's making sure that your cradle, I don't know what the proper term of it is. <coughs> and another critical part of this build, um, even more so than it being square to the millimeter, is the, is the cradle, and the smoke is just killing me. The most critical aspect of As critical as making sure it's square, 
I'm starting to think this fire side chat was not a good idea. But as critical as <laughs> as critical as it is to getting um, this <laughs> this uh... excuse me. As you see here, I just found the center of the, uh, the backing and um, used a uh, square to uh, mark the lines for the cradle. As critical as it is to ensure that the uh, spline jig is square um, and slides freely on the fence, um, it's equally as critical to ensure that the cradle, and I don't know what the technical term is, but it's the part that holds the frame. Um, the, uh, the, the, the arms itself have to be 45 degrees in the table to ensure that you're getting equal cut on the spine. And I guess I'm wording that correctly, I really don't know. these up with some glue and clamps. And, and here I used um, a square again to mark the um, inner and outer edges of the uh, cradle arms. Or that way when I pre-drill the holes and put the screws in I don't um, I don't go out one end or the other. Here I add some glue, um, add some clamps, make sure it's all good and square, and then pre-drill holes and then use some really short screws because the one thing you want to be sure of is you don't want to go all the way through the inner piece and hit the fence. And here I take a frame um, I made out of scrap pine uh, just for testing um, and then uh, test the cuts and I was, I was really happy with it. And I was so happy in fact I didn't even show you guys I just walked away. Here's a, uh, the process of me cutting the actual frame I made for Jinx. And again, if you would like to see that video, um, I'm linking it up here in one of the corners. Thanks for watching.